during Tokal's leap over symbolic contemplations. We can explore how our own bodies are sensual, yet as non-graspable as the archetype or the legend of Green Tata's body of mind. However, if we turn this into dogma, which is to believe, then realization, no less enlightenment, will forever be out of reach. Why? Why is that? Because it is a mistake to confuse realization with belief. Well, why is that? Because as many of the Christian uh, scriptures tell us, belief is the evidence of things not seen. Realization isn't in that. Realization is a present moment experience. So when we resort to belief, we are using an intellectual, an emotional, a physical contrivance with which to grasp upon with white knuckle intensity. However, realization does not use imagination. It does not use logic. It simply experiences the present moment. So in Buddhism, not fundamentalist Buddhism, but in liberal Buddhism, what we try to do is not believe in emptiness as the ultimate nature of all phenomena, but experience the emptiness that is latent, that is subtly woven into every moment's experience. How? How do we experience, how do we viscerally realize the non graspable nature of our own bodies of flesh, blood, and bone? Simple. On the in-breath, we notice those bodies. On the out-breath, to the best of our ability, we relax into those sensations. Be they glorious or be they grotesque, be they pleasurable or be they painful, if we notice them vulnerably, and relax, stop resisting the present moment, then we shall viscerally experience that voidness of which the great Buddhist saints have opined and written of in their poems. <laughs>